Hey, hey, wow, hey. Put some gazpacho in your galoshes. It's me, Marty Crock, the wow. star hey, of Marty. South Burlington. Can't believe it's you. This is incredible. I know you're a local, uh, a little bit of a local culinary celebrity. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Absolutely, my pleasure. Eating the rich, eating the rich is a big topic. It's on everyone's minds, you guys. It sure is, yeah. So, so we're, I guess we'll just start at the beginning um, and just ask, like, for example, yeah, how for example. would you how would you eat a Bloomberg? Yeah, how would you oh. cook? So, a yeah, a Bloomberg. A Bloomberg is a uh, you're gonna you're gonna prepare a Bloomberg as you would uh, if you were down in the bayou cooking a weasel. You know, it's a member of the weasel family, a stoat, a mustelid, as they say. And mm. uh, there's very little meat on one of those animals. It can be a little uh, gristly. Mm. So you're gonna want to season it, tenderize it very well. I've got a great recipe in my cookbook. It's called uh, Gravy Boats and Guillotines. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. And so uh, ideally, you'd serve the Bloomberg in a uh, perhaps a cold soup, a vicious type of thing. You can throw in a dash of Gates for some extra flavor. And, oh, uh, okay. interesting. So just yeah. like um, like a shaving like of a, grapes. What's the, what's gates? The, not uh, not grating. A, um, oh, like a julienne. Yeah. Microplane yeah. the Gates. Yeah, julienne Gates. Lovely, delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. even though even though you get the picture, you think it sounds tasty. A lot of customers are wary about eating the Bloomberg. So uh, what you do is you just spend a lot of money at Cisco, you order up a shitload of Bloomberg, and then uh, people just have to choke it down. They have no choice if you spent all the money. Gotcha. Got it, gotcha. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now let's, uh, let's move on to another one because uh, I'm well, curious. Pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Sure. Yeah, of course. You shave all those, uh, you shave all those mustelids, you shave the weasels, save the fur because I hear that uh, Giuliani is looking for a new wig. Okay, oh, good. okay, so we you know. save, if you are preparing a Bloomberg, you want to save, save the, fur. the fur. Weasel fur. fur makes a great toupee. For a Giuliani. Okay, okay great. great. So, and uh, let's say for example, uh, our, our next uh, our, our next rich, uh, we want to try is a, is a musk. Oh. Now a musk, it seems like that might be a challenging one. Yeah, well a musk, musk are very tender. They have been uh, smoking themselves uh, for the past couple of years. So they do have that rich smokehouse flavor. But uh, mm -hmm. you do have to remember that the creature does lack, for the most part, a spine. They are sure. they are essentially an invertebrate. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So like a jellyfish. Absolutely, a jellyfish, a uh, calamari, a, a, an octopus. So you're going to probably want to prepare them in the traditional calamari method, breaded and deep fried. That's the best sure. way to cook a musk. Okay. Great. That's great, man. Makes, that makes a lot of sense. Um, any other tips for, for a musk before we move on to the next one? Well, yeah, the FDA, they recommend cooking the musk to 160 degrees at the minimum. You're not going to want to have to abide by that necessarily. You do not need uh, big government telling you how to cook a musk. Uh, any uh, resulting diarrhea you may get from eating an undercooked musk is just the uh, marketplace of free ideas at work. Sure. That's okay, I guess, sense. yeah. Um, um, what about a Bezos? That's, I've heard, one of my friends was talking about a Bezos. Yeah, that's seems How like would a... you prepare Bezos? Yeah, well, the Bezos are very tough, very tough. It's hard to squeeze anything out of a Bezos. It's a stodgy, stingy cut of meat. But uh, mm. I'll tell you what, an overnight brine can really soak some life into the Bezos, draw out the flavor. I've got one prepared right now. It's uh, quite delicious if you uh, take a look there. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that looks nice. And see you at the Bezos too. You're gonna want to double any recipe you see online because his wife is gonna take half of it. The ex-wife is gonna. Okay. Is gonna oh, okay. There. Good to know. Good to but, know. Uh, if you want to uh, throw a little virality, make your Bezos uh, recipe go viral. I say mm -hmm. throw in a dash of Soros because a lot of people say umami is the fifth flavor, but personally, I think it's Zionist conspiracies. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. I'm always looking for a way to go a little bit more viral. I would never yeah. think of any of this stuff. It's so great to have uh, you. This is interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, one of our chat people is, uh, Eric in the chat is is suggesting, it seems like he's prepared a musk before and he says, you uh, musk cook a musk for a, a long, long time. time. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Eric is on top of the pun game. I admire it. I'll use that for the title of my next cookbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything we, else we need to know about the Bezos? Uh, did my assistant bring by anything this afternoon? Oh, yeah, think, actually, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, I think yes, I do yes, have yes, a, yes. like a... Okay, yeah. I yeah, um, have to drop off are, some hors d'oeuvres, so I mean, you can take are, a what nice are these bite of that. It's a... Take a bite? Cut a Bezos, yeah. So those are going to be Bezos testicles. Oh, God. Yeah, so the, so Bezos has an unfortunate habit of exposing itself via the dick pic. And okay. uh, so it makes the testicles ripe for the plucking. How do they taste? Um, a little, little salty. Yeah, that's uh, the brine. Okay. Do it work, baby. Okay. Ugh. 
Got some gazpacho in your galoshes now. Wow. Sure. Well, wow, wow, wow. We appreciate wow, wow. you sending those over. That really wasn't wasn't necessary. Is there a name for these? Uh, yeah, they're uh, Seattle Mountain Oysters. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. So, um, so I think we're going to let you go in here in a minute. But I think the question that's on everybody's minds is, uh, how would you prepare uh, a, a, Trump. a Trump? No, no, no. That, eating the Trump? No, you don't want to do that. Those uh, right colors. That, that's nature saying, stay away. Do not eat. Yeah. Like, oh. a, like a poisonous toad. Yeah, like a, a poison dart fo to toad or one of those butterflies that just like, you know, flashes, has the big eyes on the back of yeah. it. You don't want to eat one of those. That's, it, so they, they, look like they look fatty, like, but it's like, uh, yeah. he's, he's like one of them foie gras gooses that's sucking down Fox News with the tube down his throat. It's, it's bad news. Okay, so okay. You, you, would, you would not recommend, we, we shouldn't hunt and kill like a Trump, for instance. I, I, I didn't say that, I, you know. Just don't eat one, and you know. Okay. Uh, by my by my count, I think uh, the days are numbered too. So get in while you can. Okay. Well, this, okay. this has been Chef Marty Crook, everybody. Thank you, Marty. Hey, for hey, hey. put really some gazpacho in your galoshes. Okay. Take Bye, care. Marty. Thanks a lot.